Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this lesson we're going to be creating an intersection with existing geometry in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise you'll use the existing offset alignments and profiles of the primary road to create an intersection and then add the new intersection to the existing primary road corridor. The workflow that's demonstrated in this exercise is useful when you need to create several intersections along a single corridor. You define the offset geometry for the primary road and then reuse it for subsequent intersections. Let's start by specifying the intersection location and primary road. Go ahead and open up your intersection-create-3 drawing in your tutorials folder. Now this drawing contains an intersection of two alignments, road A and road C. Offset alignments exist on either side of road A and there is an existing intersection north of road C. Go ahead and go to your home tab and then to your create design panel. Click on the intersections drop down and select create intersection. In the drawing our command line is asking us to select an intersection point. Go ahead and select the intersection of road A and road C. Next, our command line is asking us to select a main road alignment or press enter to select from a list. Click the road A alignment to specify it as the primary road. Now let's specify the corridor grade parameters. In the create intersection wizard on the general page under the corridor type, make sure that the primary road crown is maintained. Go ahead and click Next. Now we're going to specify the horizontal geometry parameters. On the Geometry Details page, click the Offset Parameters. In the Offset Parameters dialog box, under the Primary Road, let's look at the left offset definition. We do want to use the existing alignment, so switch that to Yes. For the alignment name, go ahead and press this button right here. Now we're going to actually pick this alignment. In the drawing, select the offset alignment on the left hand side of the road A alignment. Go ahead and click OK. In the intersection offset parameters dialog box, let's take a look at the right side. We're going to use an existing alignment. We're going to choose our alignment and we're going to pick it in our drawing again. Now pick the right side of road A. Go ahead and click OK. And then click OK. Now select curb return parameters. The default parameters for the first intersection quadrant are displayed in the intersection curb return parameters dialog box. In the drawing, the first quadrant is already highlighted with arrows associated to indicate the direction of incoming and outgoing traffic. We're going to start with the southeast quadrant. Make sure that the widen turn lane for incoming road checkbox is selected. Now select the northwest quadrant. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to make sure that this checkbox is checked for the incoming road. Now click OK. Now let's specify the vertical geometry parameters. On the Geometry Details page, under Offset and Curb Return Profiles, select Lane Slope Parameters. Now within the Intersection Lane Slope Parameters dialog box, specify the following options. Under the Primary Road, for the Left Edge Profile definition, we are going to use an existing profile. And to choose that profile, we select that button right there. And then we're going to select Road A 2%. Click OK. Then we're going to repeat this for the right side. But for the profile name, we're going to select Road A 2% 1. Click OK. And then click OK. Lastly, we're going to specify the corridor parameters. 
Go ahead and click Next, and now we're on the Corridor Regions page. Let's specify the following options. Go ahead and check off Create Corridors in Intersection Area, but we're going to add to an existing corridor. We're going to add it to Corridor 1, and we're going to daylight to the existing ground surface. Under the Select Assembly Set to Import, let's go ahead and click Browse and navigate to your Metric Assembly Sets. Select the Metric Assembly Sets.xml and click Open. Now, go ahead and create intersection. And there you have it. That's how you go about creating an intersection with existing geometry in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.